so shall my word be. It shall not return to me void until it has achieved the end for which I sent it. I see him every day. And every day he speaks to me loudly, speaks to me a message that is both challenging and comforting. I see him every day. Every day when I walk through the door of my office, there on the wall, he stands. And the message is clear. The person I speak of is on my wall in my office as an image of Christ, the sower. And he's there hanging on my wall. And what intrigues me about this particular image of Christ given to myself as a gift from our area staff a few years ago, it's also a gift given to us from the wonderful monks at the University of St. John's through the gift of the St. John's Bible. Now this comes as a shock to some of you given the fact that I'm an alum of the University of St. Thomas, <laughs> the other school. But I acknowledge the fact tonight right in front of all of you God's people that the University of St. John's is far ahead of the University of St. Thomas when it comes to two things. One, its campus, which is beautiful and scenic and absolutely gorgeous. I love the campus of the University of St. John's. Secondly, the St. John's Bible. What a gift that the monks have given not only to us locally, but to the world church. But getting back to that image, found in the St. John's Bible of the sower and the seed as it hangs upon my wall, it speaks to me because Jesus is wearing a pair of blue jeans. Amazing, isn't it? That those who painted this Bible portray Christ in such apparel. But there he is with his blue jeans on, rolled up at the bottom, the cuffs. And there he finds himself out sowing seed. And the message that is both challenging and comforting to me as I look upon that image every day when I walk through the door of my office is this, that for all these years of my life, I thought what we needed to focus on in this parable of the sower and the seed was the soil. Didn't you? Didn't you always think about, well, gosh, what kind of soil am I? Am I the fertile soil? Gosh, I sure hope so. I sure hope I'm that fertile soil. Maybe, you know, were you there with me? I think so oftentimes that's where our focus is. What kind of soil are we? But the image in the St. John's Bible of the sower and the seed taught me to look at the parable differently. And this is the message it taught me. No matter what soil we are, in God's eyes, it doesn't matter. The soil doesn't matter. Whether we're rock soil, whether we're our soil is overtaken with thorns and thistles and weeds, whether our soil is rich and fertile and can produce a hundred or sixty or thirty-fold, it doesn't matter to God. Because notice in the parable, the sower throws seed on all of it. No matter what the soil is, the sower, which is Christ himself, donning a pair of blue jeans rolled up at the bottom as cuffs while he's out there and he's tossing the seed like a reckless person. A farmer who obviously doesn't know how to farm. Who doesn't plant in straight rows. Who is not mindful of the fact that you need technology today to tell you how many seeds to plant per acre. 
No, this is not that kind of Jesus, the farmer. He's extravagant and he's reckless. And he goes out and he's got this bag of seed underneath his arm. If you look at the image of the sower and the seed in St. John's Bible, and he's got his other hand and he is just tossing it. Doesn't matter where it lands. So shall my word be. It shall not return to me void. No, it shall not return to me void. It shall only return to me once it has achieved the will for which I sent it. So that, my friends, is good news for us all. Because truth be told, you and I are different soils depending on the time of day it might be or where we are in our state of life. Sometimes we are as hard as rocks and nothing can penetrate our minds or our hearts because we become callous, we've become why we've become not such very nice people. But nonetheless, the seed is thrown there. And there are other times when we are overwhelmed by the things of this world, and so it gets choked off because of our own worries and anxieties and fears and whatever it is that might be going on in our lives. But nonetheless, the seed is thrown there. And other times, we're ready, and we're rich, and we're open, and the seed is thrown there as well. But no matter what our soil might be, no matter what might be going on in our lives, we can be certain of this. Christ the sower is out there with his reckless, generous hand sowing the seeds of his word into our hearts and into our lives. And this is the good news. It's not going to return to God until it's achieved the will for which it was sent. And the will for you and I is quite simply this, to love God and to love one another. That is the reason why Jesus so recklessly and generously goes out and throws the seed everywhere. And it, it will produce a hundred and sixty and thirty-fold.